Sound System Culture is um, a group of DJs that work together as a team and they build a specific sound system made out of parts that they personally select themselves so they can get the right sound that they personally want. That is where people can sit and talk about speaker boxes, bass <laughs> for hours and understand each other on a level. I guess it is the power of the essence of the sound system from where it comes from. It was so powerful that it managed to reach townships like Kuguleto. It would be about your bass, your preamps, and also the tunes and dub plates you were dropping. It's a thing that started in Jamaica, and uh, for us it was all about that reggae uh, session, you know, where you have your, your dope sound system, and your DJ, and your MCs, and the crowd gathering around. Maximum Signal Control is the first leg of the Rebel Music Academy World Tour for 2011. Now what we're doing is building a sound system and the root of this project, the idea of it, goes all the way back to Jamaican sound system culture. The Academy World Tour is taking place in 10 countries around the world. That starts in Cape Town and then ends with the Rebel Music Academy in Madrid. I'm really vibed up, man. I've heard so much great things about you know, South Africa, Cape Town. Yeah, I'm actually going to go and check a few guys out, build some stuff. It's going to be brilliant. Driving with Dillinger all the way from the UK, taking him from the suburbs of Cape Town to the townships. I've never been to South Africa before. It's a, you know, it's a whole brand new experience for me. For me, it was you not know, really sharing something with the legend, you know, when it comes to, to drum and bass, you know, and some of the pioneers who actually used the sound system culture. And, uh, you know, I kind of took him through what I experienced in, in Cooks through the sound system uh, from almost at the beginning of it and uh, to where the most of the, the, the biggest sound system events took place. And then some people, you know, would be really passionate about the sound. So one would buy himself a, a two bass bins, two bass bins with, yeah, yeah, yeah. with that amp. And then yeah. we become aware of some other kid who stay a few blocks away, who's got some nice mates and some eyes, yeah. yeah. but doesn't really have an amp. And then one just comes to come bring it together, yeah? Yeah. As soon as I walked in and I saw these guys finishing off these boxes, I had visions in my head of when we had to, you know, me and Kevin had to finish off our sound system. It, it's very, it takes a long time, it's very um, time consuming, it's hard work. Yeah, the ultimate payoff once this system is finished is uh, getting it plugged in and watching people just go crazy to it when they feel the bass and all the rest of it and just getting down. I think when, when, when this switch has sound system on, it's going to be just amazing, you know, from the beginning. I actually want to try and come with earlier so I can actually hear the sound system before I even get to go on it, you know. I want to actually hear what I can do. I can't wait to hear it, man. I can't wait to hear it. I mean, it's going to it's gonna blow hats off. We're going to have our flipping wax blown out of our ears. Come together, though. Yeah. Just in time. sounding kind of cool right now. It's amazing in there, man. The system was pumping, the crowd were electric. I really wish the Red Bull sound system well, man. It's like, wherever it travels, it's gonna, it's gonna do some damage. It's gonna go nice, big.